Saskatchewan is the untapped secret of this country. Hi, my name is Chime. Welcome to Millennial Immigrant, the value-driven channel where we equip you with the right tools to hit the ground running. Please go ahead and subscribe, like, and share this video. Today, we are going to finish off the last episode, which was how to pick the right province. We had it as one piece, but we felt it was gonna be too long and we decided to split it in two. So you've picked Canada as a country. The next step would be to pick the right province. Another factor to consider is taxes. Taxes. Why are you running? Taxes is huge. I think we're gonna have it as a topic on a different episode. So please subscribe if you like the kind of content you're getting. We are going to break down taxes. Just gonna give you an idea of what I mean. Taxes comes in different forms. We have the sales taxes, which you're talking about the goods and services tax called GST. Some people know it as GST, HST, and then the PST, the provincial sales taxes. Alberta and the territories pay the list of sales taxes they pay like five percent so that's a lot of savings oh my god wow so when we're talking about sales taxes we are talking about the taxes you pay on the products you buy in the market say you buy a tv you're going to pay sales taxes on that so in a place like alberta you're paying five percent on the price of that item some other provinces you'll pay up to 15 percent some 17 some 12 some 11. so yeah sales taxes could add up property taxes vary from city to city or town to town when i say town to town you could live in the same province but the area of the province will determine how much taxes you'll pay on your property okay for instance someone living in brampton ontario the same size of house in Brampton would probably pay more in Brampton than he would pay for the same size of house in Whitby, same Ontario. And then income taxes, there is a flat federal income tax rate, but every province have their own income tax rates in addition to the federal taxes. So some provinces are high, some provinces are less. And then some of you would want to consider going into business or running their own businesses. I hope so. So you want to think of business or corporate taxes. In 2019, I believe the income tax for corporate businesses or small scale businesses ranges from zero to 4% at provincial level. Uh, in addition to the 9% federal tax rates so you just have to do your research and make sure you are getting all those facts before you make that decision on which part of the country you want to move to another factor to consider is the crime rate some cities as large as they are could have less crime than smaller cities I think that's a surprise right we know that the larger the population, it usually comes with some crime. But I'll tell you, when you're making that decision on which part of the country you want to live in, you need to do the research, you need to find out what the crime rate is. So safety of yourself and your family should be the first thing to think of. Even some people are moving to Canada because they feel they are gonna be safer here. So why wouldn't you think of safety one way you can find out is you go online you can do your research there some small communities as small as they are maybe the drug capital of the country and that stuff spreads like wildfire so if you don't want your kids getting themselves hurt or being involved in some sort of crime you do your research the factor i would consider is lifestyle and culture and religious beliefs you know when you're talking about lifestyle you're talking about food you're talking about recreational activity travel and when you talk about religious beliefs 
some people on this platform are Christians some people don't even have a religion some probably are Hindu or Islam whatever religious belief you have if you're going to move to a place you need to consider if you're gonna have a place of worship place where you congregate and you pray to you, whoever you believe in because there are some cities you go to or small towns you're not gonna get uh, a mosque there some people have a particular way they worship right some people like those very loud pentecostal churches some people just like the quiet one you may go to a pentecostal church and you like the loud but there's no church in that whole town that's loud if you are looking for a place where you're going to scream and shout yeah you also need to look at uh, this city i'm going to will i find that uh, place where they are screaming that's one factor to consider talked about lifestyle and i talked about travel some people like to travel like their job requires them to travel they could be representing some kind of pharmaceutical company and they need to be on that flight going places so you need to consider living close to an airport you don't want to get off your plane and you're taking a cab and it's three hours to the middle of nowhere some people have uh skills they have some athletic skills they want to be basketball players you don't want to go move to a small town where you're probably the only person that knows about basketball that everybody's playing hockey so you want to live in a place like toronto where they could scout you as a, as a talent we have toronto raptors some people cannot do without eating their fufu they just cannot like they can't stay a whole day without swallow and you cannot move and go to a place like Labrador where the next big town or whatever is about six hours drive and you're in the middle of nowhere you're just you're closer to the Atlantic Ocean than anything else how are you gonna get here Gary you cannot so if those things are very important to you and you cannot do without it JJ Leo find yourself in a big city where there's more access to those kind of foods another factor that i would consider is proximity to a healthcare facility it's important i remember in labrador i had some people who were working with us and the moment they got pregnant they just couldn't stay because the facility we run sometimes we don't have anybody who's trained specifically to deliver a baby there is no midwife and you may not even have a gynecologist himself right so the whole betting process you're not sure how it's going to take place so people would usually just get pregnant and take off just resign and go to a different city where they can have actually have access to antenatal care and things like that proximity to good maternity and delivery service is very important if you have health needs maybe you have history of uh, heart problems you don't want to live far from a hospital smaller towns or smaller cities are usually safer they're smaller people are friendlier the attractive as it could be when it comes to safety of your family it comes with a lot of privacy issue your neighbor knows your story they know your story you cannot have a private life hey james james said your neighbor's neighbor knows what you did last night how you were making noise and you were you were just playing music loud you know even your neighbor's 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 neighbor know your story they would tell that story even when you've moved out if you are the kind of person that wants to have a private life you don't want anybody talking about you you want to live in a if not the bigger city maybe something medium-sized there are lots of mid-sized cities in canada another thing is proximity to family and friends family is everything we know it's good for your mental health it's good for your psyche it's good for your health they could be supportive on the flip side could also hold you back some people would rather stay in a city or a town where they cannot get a job 
but this is where family is and they're like oh my god i can't leave okay how am i gonna take care who's gonna take care of my daughter who's gonna take care of my son my mom lives here my mom helps out in the house but you don't have a job i don't even see why your mom should be responsible for your kids if you don't go to work you know because you're already at home you don't have a job some people usually come up with excuses oh i can't move because oh i need to move and live close to my parents but they don't have job opportunity in the area where their parents live those are factors to consider the juicy part is saskatchewan is the untapped secret of this country if you don't know now you know why do i say so first of all income okay and job security I, i've said it earlier on the job market okay the job market in canada especially in my profession everybody's situation is different there are factors you have to consider but in my industry i think the there is more job security in saskatchewan than any other province not just job opportunity but job security and quality of job right so you have a good a reasonably paying job compared to the rest of the pro country and some other little perks that they just sprinkled you know just sprinkled for you to just be enjoying this place cost of living is decent there's nothing that's cheap but is decent if you guys want some statistical facts is the second best uh, province when it comes to family or household income number one on the list is Alberta but Alberta like I said earlier on there's no job security the Saskatchewan yeah they may not be paying the highest income in my industry but you can be sure to get a job this gets even juicier for those who have student loan in my industry depending on which part of the province you work in you could have your loan forgiveness right and then another thing is Saskatchewan has something called the graduate retention tax credit there's provincial nominee system you can nominate a cousin you can nominate uh, a brother so talking about support here support this channel subscribe smash that like button and share to as many friends as you have Thank you all.